Hi, I'm Austin. I'm going to be the nurse performing your abdominal assessment today. Can you tell me your name? Seth. Seth, okay. Have you had any types of abdominal surgeries or uh, abdomen discomfort before we start the exam? Okay. Uh, first thing I'm going to have you do is I'm going to go ahead and have you lay flat for me. Alright, first thing, chance just hit your side just like that. Uh, I'm going to do some inspection of your abdomen, okay? Getting right down beside it and slightly above, checking your contour of your abdomen. Abdomen is symmetrical. Uh, umbilicus center and inverted. We're going to start with any types of visual evidence of peristalsis or pulsation. All right. Next, I'm going to go ahead and listen to your abdominal sounds. Before we do any type of tap, tapping or anything like that, okay? I'm going to start with the doctor and my stethoscope, just listening through to your abdominal sounds. Nice and light. and active bowels. Next thing I'm going to listen to is your vascular sounds of your abdomen. I'm going to be starting with your aorta. Just right here. Alright, over to your renal. I have to press just a little harder than I did with the first one so I can hear those sounds nice and clear. Your right renal. Your left iliac. Right iliac. Right femoral. And right femoral. Sorry, left femoral. Heard all of those. Next thing I do is I'm going to check for some CVA tenderness. So, what I want you to do is go ahead and sit all the way up for me and spin around and hang your legs off the examination table. I'm going to do some palpation, okay? Let me find you. Let me see your kidneys. Let me know if there's any rebound pain. Nothing? Oh, excellent. Do the same thing on this side. Anything? Excellent. Okay, so go ahead and swivel back around, lay back down for me. He does it. All right. Okay, now that we've done that, I'm going to do some light palpation. Okay, start to ask your right lower quadrant. I'm sorry, left lower quadrant. Any pain? Okay. Uh, before I do the deep palpation, we do some percussion. Lightly tapping. Excellent. Now I'm going to do some deep palpation, okay? Starting right down here in this right lower quadrant. Doing okay? All right. Next thing I'm going to check for is any type of organ swelling or any abnormalities. Okay, first thing we're doing is going to be your liver. I'm going to put my left hand right back here, right between that 11th and 12th rib. And I'm going to do some pressing. You ready? Take a deep breath. 
now. Excellent. I'm going to do the very same thing with your spleen, but on this side, same hand placement. Lift you up just a little bit and deep breath. Excellent. Now I'm going to do the same thing with your kidneys. Deep breath. Excellent. Let it out. Same thing over here. Excellent. Uh, on your left side, I had to do it this way because your left kidney sits about one centimeter higher than your right kidney. So by doing the same thing like this, it's not much of a, can't get a good palpation of it, okay? Next thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna do some some, some uh, advanced techniques to assess for type like your gallbladder and your appendix uh, and your liver, okay? So first we're gonna have your Murphy's test, which I'm gonna have you take a deep breath, kind of like how it feels your liver. Exhale, nice, good exhale, no signs of stopping mid catch. I'm gonna do the same thing on your other side. This is the Bloomberg's, okay? Exhale. And that's it. One more time. This one's gonna be a quick. Go ahead, deep breath. Any pain? I remove my hand. I'll do that one more time. None. Okay. I'm gonna move over to the other side where we're gonna do the McBurney's test. Okay. So it's 190 degrees. Deep breath. Any type of pain when I release my hand. Excellent. So you have one more test we're going to do, and that's going to be the Ilopus or Ilopace test. Uh, it's also checking for appendicitis, but we're going to do it with your legs. So I'm going to have you scooch up on the table. Bring my head back. All right. Now I want you to lift this leg. Any pain when you fight me? No? Okay. Try to do the same thing on the side. Try to force that leg up. Excellent. No, extra, no pain? Perfect. Go ahead and sit up for me. Uh, that concludes our abdominal assessment. Do you have any questions, any aches or pains, anything like that? All right. Post-assessment follow-up on Seth, a male who came in for an abdominal assessment today. Um, the first thing we did was did inspection. Uh, contour was normal. Uh, his abdomen was symmetrical. Uh, color was completely distributed even, no abnormal colors, uh, no scars or striads noted uh, upon inspection. Patient denied any type of abdominal surgical history or abdominal uh, history at all. Uh, you could barely uh, visualize uh, peristalsis uh, due to his good uh, muscles in his abdomen and being quite slender. Uh, no pulsations were noted moved on to the auscultation of his bowel sounds. Uh, bowel sounds were present in all four quadrants uh, when listened to with the diaphragm at the stethoscope, then moved on to the vascular sounds, uh, listening with the bell of the stethoscope uh, and deep pushing in a little deeper. Uh, no vascular sounds were heard in the aorta, renal, iliac, or femoral areas. Uh, we moved on to percussion of the abdomen. Uh, real normal uh, percussion was uh, tympanic and it pre predominated uh, all four quadrants. Uh, patient had no signs of CVA tenderness upon palpation. Uh, then moved on, we moved on to general palpation, uh, light palpation. We did uh, light palpation in all four quadrants. Uh, patient did not have any types of pain, uh, no rebound tenderness, anything like that was noted. Uh, went on to deep palpation of all four quadrants of the abdomen. Uh, no pain or abnormalities were noted. Uh, then identified uh, the organs, uh, assessed the liver on the patient's right side, uh, placed my left hand behind his back kind of lifting him up and pressed in as the patient took a deep breath, uh, could not, and then palpated the liver. I did the same thing on the other side of the spleen, uh, almost directly uh, parallel. On the other side, could not palpate the spleen, or at least uh, 
didn't quite understand what I was feeling if it were there, but I did not feel anything. Uh, we then palpated the kidneys and educated the patient on the location of each kidney and that the left side is about one centimeter higher than the other. We uh, then moved on to the advanced techniques, uh, starting with the Murphy sign, uh, Blue, Blue, Bloomberg's sign on the left side, and then McBurney's on the right. Uh, those three were all negative. And lastly, we did the uh, iliopeus test, uh, muscle test, uh, the legs, and it was negative as well. Uh, patient denied any questions or a pain post-assessment.